Georgia and then come. All these aircraft uh, belonging to this unique uh, organization. Uh, we've got here a, uh, a Vampire T-55 two-seater and a single-seat FB-52 joining the lonely Big 50. Unique uh, band of guys displaying their aircraft and heritage flights. Uh, not just through their past experience with the Royal Norwegian Air Force, but of course in conjunction with the British history of these two famous aircraft here as well. Now the actually uh, is under his earth, now on the tail of the two vampires. Her organization was founded in 2008, based at Riga Air Base in Norway. Their whole goal to uh, preserve ex-military historical aircraft in uh, flying condition and display this unique heritage to public air shows all around Europe. A really great bunch of guys. Great chart behind all this, Kenny Gartfeeler. Uh, Really delightful chap, and it's just got uh, oodles of hours, well over uh, 15,000 hours. Starting his uh, flight at the age of 15, and uh, soloed in a glider before getting his full pilot's license. Uh, went into aerobatics and instructing, joined the uh, military in 1981, and uh, also trained as a forward air controller. He then went on to fly through uh, Scandinavian Airlines, SAS, uh, captain of the, the whole series of 737s. Uh, before founding the Norwegian Air Force Historical Squadron. He generally flies the uh, MiG-15, but also takes part in the maintenance of all the aircraft and flying both the uh, vampires as well. Alongside him, uh, Martin Tintin Tesley, one of the fighter pilots uh, with the Royal Norwegian Air Force 338 Tiger Squadron, based up in the northwest of the country at Trondheim. Joined the Air Force in 1984 and uh, went through flight training in the USA. And also became a weapons uh, instructor as well. Holds the rank of Lieutenant Colonel and is one of Norway's first F-35 pilots and will be the first Norwegian F-35 squadron commander currently based at Luke Air Force Base in the United States. Also flying uh, Yuri Matilla, uh, newest pilot to join the Norwegian Air Force Historical Squadron. Uh, Yuri, interesting enough, not Norwegian, comes from the uh, neighboring country of Finland. Uh, the huge part of the flight. Uh, it's too far to see that formation going fast. Any beach in the United Kingdom, let alone in Europe. The only thing to be able to finish Air Force Chief Test Pilots, he's flown the F-18 Hornets and the AE Wolves, among many others. His daily work is at the uh, Finnish uh, Air Force Test Center at Sasakuta Air Command Base in Finland. He's been more than 60 different aircraft types and uh, decided to work. Also, he throws in a bit of air show and they're about to fly as well. He gets the 300 bucks on the front legs of flying and the uh, pit special. He's uh, thrown a huge number of uh, aircraft and test flying duties, including the uh, Jazz 39 Griffin, the Typhoon, and the Raphael. But here they are now going back in time to these. Uh, Amazing cold water. You think you're beautiful, right? And uh, the sharp eyes will have noticed the uh, color schemes, the because to continue to celebrate to the RF 100th birthday, the uh, Norwegian Air Force Historical Squadron have temporarily decorated the two Johannes aircraft in RAF markings to go back. Uh, to the bombs linking both the Air Force and the Norwegian Air Force. 
the FE5 single seater representing the VZ305 Ascension Squadron aircraft. It's not the first Italian to one of the earlier wing vampire squadrons, the late Ascension Squadron, the Chancellor of the North Wheel, where the Norwegian is based in the Two seats there, uh, Vampire, the famous number four squadron and representing aircraft 50 Zulu, 447, King of the number four squadron in the middle. Now, to see those two aircraft in these miles, one of the Very confusing uh, because uh, these aircraft weren't ever British themselves, although now it's talking about them as commerce. The T55 was the export version uh, of the RAF trainer. Uh, six were exported to Norway. The aircraft uh, were, however, as this one was, uh, licensed built in Switzerland in 1959. Was the last of uh, 20 new Swiss build two seaters. Both aircraft uh, are similar specification or slight uh, differences in the tailplane configuration and in the canopy, only the two main giveaways of these aircraft. Maximum speed of just under 550 miles an hour with a range of 1200 miles, and they can fly up to just over 42,000 feet. be armed with uh, four 20mm uh, Hispano Mark V cannons, or eight 360 pound rockets, or two 500 pound bombs on uh, not those uh, usual fuel drop The F-52, the FB-52 that is, was also an export version of the Mark VI, uh, operated in the UK, and 36 of those were exported in Norway. But this one was also licensed built in Switzerland in 1952 and uh, was flown with the Swiss Air Force. So the aircraft acquired from uh, private air owners. We're now going back into the middle of the Navy team. And of course, uh, this is the older, lower powered aircraft using uh, greater airspace. They're not, they're not uh, designed with the same agility and power as any of these models. Now, the Navy team you just hear them chatting away to each other in uh, very good English given the fact that none of them are. Uh -huh. up they say for a double loop. Let's see how uh, that goes. there, right up to about uh, four or five thousand feet, and they're going to do it all over again.
hear them signing off. I was hoping they'd give us a low straight fly pass just to wave them off when you hear the uh, running, almost the irritating whines from those uh, the handbrake.